buddy David Rodriguez here and today this light doesn't work so it's gonna be a little bit darker but that's not gonna stop us from expanding our big brains and learning yourself some educational content and today we're gonna to be going over cardiac output um, we're gonna be going over what it is how you can do it and then the frequency at which you should um, integrate this training method if you're wanting to increase your aerobic system capacity. So when it comes to cardiac output, what exactly is the cardiac output method and why would we do it? Now, people tend to get a lot of wrapped up in as far as specificity. And if one thing doesn't specify exactly to the support that they do, then they think it's pointless. But that's not how that works. It's not really how the body works. Um, especially when it comes to training your energy systems which are present in everything that you do. So again, for cardiac output, it's one of the few, it's one of the many different methods that you can use to train your aerobic system. Now, again, if you saw my tricking energy systems video, you will know about quick crash course. Um, aerobic system is basically the energy system that is used for long durations with uh, slight intensity. Typically, it goes low intensity, long durations. It obviously, in the name aerobic, it uses oxygen as it's one of its main um, fuel sources of consumption. And it also helps to resupply both your ATP PC system and your glycolytic system. Now, why does, again, so why does that all matter? It matters because it'll help you not to feel so gassed out at the end of sessions and or competitions that you do. So if you feel like it doesn't matter how hard you've been training or tricking or whatever, that you just feel like worn out and gassed at the end of even like a normal combo, maybe consider inputting some cardiac output or at least some aerobic system development. And the benefits that come with aerobic system development in general is increased oxygen that gets to circulate around your body because your heart is pumping, or at least the left ventricular uh, cavity within your heart enlarges and stretches, which allows for more oxygenated blood to enter into it. It squeezes all that blood and obviously all throughout your heart and all throughout your body. And then so the, so again, right? So your benefit is that you're gonna get increased oxygen flow or at least increased oxygen and increased blood flow throughout your body for your competitions and for your training. Now, how do we go about um, doing or accomplishing the cardiac output method? So, typically, when you're first starting out, you're going to want to have at least 30 minutes of, as far as your duration, for what it is that you're doing. Because the aerobic system does all in your system kicking at the same time, but the aerobic system really starts taking its uh, stride past or within about 30 minutes of uh, training. So 30 minutes is kind of like a good um, beginning point whenever the aerobic system really kind of starts to uh, take over for the most part. And then once you get more advanced, obviously you can bump it up to 90 minutes. So again, we're looking at long durations, long periods of time, longer periods of time than what we normally would be doing when it comes to a workout. Um, and so for heart rate, we want our heart rate to stay anywhere between 130 to 150 beats per minute. Now that's a little, it is a little bit harder to do and to really measure. That's why I invested in the smartwatch to keep track of my heart rate. Um, most smartwatches do this anyways. So if you're really looking to try and like pinpoint the heart rate, and that you should uh, probably invest in a smartwatch. Other than that, as far as any other equipment that you need, you can use a treadmill. And honestly, the treadmills with their little heart rate sensors are just about as accurate as this um, smartwatch I've found <clears throat> just from uh, playing around with it here and there. Now, you don't also, you don't have to just run. It is typically, the, it is actually, it's, it is the easiest way to accomplish it because there's ground everywhere, right? but you don't, so you can even run, you can bike, you can swim, you can, 
probably do just about any kind of physical activity as long as you're within 30 to 90 minutes as far as duration and time or 90 and above depending on your sport right and your heart rate stays anywhere between 130 to 150 beats per minute now why don't we want to go above 150 beats per minute because then that kind of starts getting closer to our max heart rate and that leads probably a little more towards fatigue and a high stress high intensity for high volumes of training and again that can be used but we are we're not really trying to do that all the time without adequate amounts of rest in between our uh, training bouts um, so yeah look into it again 30 to 90 minutes as far as time heart rate stays anywhere between 130 to 150 beats per minute any kind of physical activity though um, your arms will obviously probably tire out a lot more faster than your legs so again that's probably that's typically why running is the most easiest and most available method for accomplishing cardiac output so how often if you're looking to integrate this into your workouts or in your training how often should you be integrating cardiac output into your workouts typically anywhere between one to three times a week um, when I first started training um, exclusively for aerobic system or aerobic energy development I only did it once a week and I started out first at 30 minutes like I said earlier and then I went up to 35 minutes on the second week 40 on week 3, 45 on week 4, so on and so forth right 5 minutes up until I've reached 8 weeks of training um, I've also heard that you take a 10% of what you did before and add it on I didn't try that Maybe next time I will, and we'll see how it goes from there. But really, this isn't like you have to be running every single day. No. Like, again, stay within your parameters. 30 to 90 minutes of training. Um, heart rate between 130 to 150 beats per minute. Now, and depending on what you're doing, right, on the sport, is also determines how often should you be doing this. Because, again, tricking, we're only training. Me, specifically, I'm training for tricking. I'm only doing maybe... 10 second combos, 15, maybe, rarely at the most. So I'm not really going to be needing a whole um, two to three sessions of cardiac output uh, a week. I The only reason I specifically did was because I wanted to um, develop my aerobic system, so I did train um, aerobic systems not just cardiac output I did cardiac output another method that I'll be going over in a later video I did it twice a week and I tricked at least three to four times a week on top of it obviously space out your days make sure that um, you're getting adequate rest in between sessions and workout sessions and so again as we're talking about dependent so now if you're a marathon runner you're probably going to be going for a lot longer you're probably going to be doing your cardiac output method for more, more, that's probably going to be the bulk of your training. So you're probably doing it three, maybe four times a day. Just make sure you're getting adequate rest and recovery in between each thing. And then so now, how long, or at least over a period of time, right, or months, how long should we be training our aerobic system if we're really trying to develop our cardiac output or doing cardiac output or doing aerobic system development? I trained for eight weeks. And this is purely anecdotal, but it's helped me immensely. Um, I don't feel as gassed at the end of my sessions. I feel like I can push harder for longer. I also feel um, that I recover faster. So even if I've done like a hard combo, I feel like I could like take a couple breaths, boom, my heart rate immediately just kind of like drops, and then I'm ready to go back into whatever it is that I was doing. I trained for eight weeks, like I said using two different methods of aerobic system development, cardiac output was one of them. Um, so, if you feel like you're lacking in the aerobic system development, you're always feeling gas at the end of sessions, or you're always feeling just tired, even during competitions or anything like that, maybe start integrating um, some cardiac output method into your training. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. hope you learned something. My name is David Rodriguez. Follow me, Hot Rod Intricate, um, Instagram at Hot Rod underscore Intricate 33. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.